All right, guys, we are officially live here, and we have a co-host today. And uh, this little girl here is going to teach you all about the three things that you need for, <laughs> for building your list. She's learning young, uh, and if you guys are brand new to the Coffee Talk, we are uh, we're welcoming my uh, my granddaughter, Emmy K. So she is officially here now after oh, about seven, eight days now from being in the hospital, but she is finally here and she's here with her pop pop. So wanted to share this with you guys here just to let you guys know what I've been up to for the past week, week and a half. Uh, I'll be here for a little bit longer. But uh, today we're going to be talking about those three things that you need to build your list. That's what we're going to be talking about. So guys, if you guys are seeing the live feed, let me know in the comments. Let me know that you can see. Uh, <laughs> Octavio, what's up, man? Salama, how are you? Thank you. She is cute, isn't she? Yeah, she's adorable. Get that little face in there. Look at that little face. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, so uh, we are... Uh, we're here and still in Virginia, uh, hanging out with my daughter and my son-in-law, and we're enjoying this little this little miracle. Look at her, and she's gonna start learning about marketing this early, guys. Like we just we just inject it into her from right here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> John, wow, beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is beautiful. She is beautiful, and she's so good. She is super good. I mean, really, really good. Thank you for sharing. Your, yeah, no problem, Karen. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Kay, what's up? What a blessing, cutie pie. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Uh, so, yeah, she's been really good, too. I mean, she's, I mean, normal feeding, uh, and then she's sleeping. Her eyes are actually not right now, but they've been opening more, so she's able to look around and see us and Hey, D. Yes, she is precious. Uh, oh, hello from India. Abnav? I'm not quite sure if I pronounced your name right, but hello from India. What's up? Glad you're joining us this morning. And yes, Pop Pop is sitting here with a cup of coffee with his grandbaby. And uh, her name is Emmy K. And she is perfect. Um, and if you guys don't know, um, my daughter, Alexis who is her mom, uh, was actually uh, four and a half weeks early. Uh, and uh, Emmy K was four weeks early. So they got a lot in common. They want to get out in the world and see what's going on. They don't want to wait around. Um, and that is totally my daughter, Alexis. So um, yeah, so she is perfect. Oh, she got a little twitch there. Hey, I think she's comfortable. I think she's just going to hang out with us. Uh, how's my daughter doing? She's doing great. Did a, a full natural birth too, which was impressive. Uh, and uh, she's great. I mean, we had we took a walk this morning, walk yesterday. She's she's doing really really good. Rock your baby podcast, <laughs> nice. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we, Octavio? What's up, Kate? Oh, she's totally listening to you, loving her pop pop. Yes, she is. Uh, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, so guys, if you're watching this on the replay um, and you're just tuning in, this is Emmy K. This is our new addition to our family. It's my granddaughter, my first ever grandbaby, and I am officially a pop pop now. That's what I'm going by. And some of you asked yesterday uh, that see my Instagram feed or the Facebook um, post um, that I post with my, myself and my wife. What is my wife going to be called? Well, it's going to be whatever she wants to call us, but we're going to try to persuade her to call us, uh, me by pop pop and, uh, my wife will be Graham Graham. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, you know, complain on whatever she calls us, but we're going to try to influence her a little bit, but she is cute. Isn't she? Look at how beautiful she is. She's about six pounds right now. Maybe a touch over. She's actually gained a little bit since coming home. She was six, three, I believe. And then she, when she came home, she was like five, 10, five, 11. And now I think she's back to six. So she's gaining, which is really, really good news. Um, and yeah, we're, we're doing good over here. Uh, Tony, what's up? How are you? She is beautiful. Isn't she, Tony? Look at that. 
our next entrepreneur. Here she is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So excited for you and your family, your beautiful family, Scott. So blessed. Yes, we are. Thank you, Octavio. Uh, oh, Karen says, my granddaughter calls me honey, and she is two now. That's cute with, an, with a U. Nice. That's awesome. I love that. Very, very cute, Karen. Uh, okay. Well, good. So I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me today. We are here today, a little bit different. We've got a baby in hand. We've got a cup of coffee. And life is pretty darn good. Um, the other thing I do want to highlight here is the beautiful thing, uh, something that I did years ago, which was when, let's see here, Alexis was probably four and uh, my son, Scotty, was around two. That's when I made the decision officially and I left my job and I never looked back. I never went and worked for anybody else in my life. And the reason was is because I wanted to be able to choose my own schedule or be able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. And I do not regret any of those decisions. Now, was it always easy? No, but I always built our schedule around the kids and the family, coaching my son baseball, never missed a game. Uh, Alexis, if she was at a recital, I was there. If she was at a basketball game, I was there. Volleyball, I was there, right? So that has always been a priority. And perfect example is I was, we were planning on coming here this week just to visit. And uh, we were planning on leaving Tuesday, I believe. And we ended up, um, we ended up uh, actually getting a phone call Monday morning at like, well, it was like 12.05 a.m. And uh, we ended up, uh, you know, hearing that my daughter's water broke. So we jumped in the car and away we went. And I've been here actually, I'm going to be here a week longer than I expected. The reason why I'm able to do that is because I'm remote, right? I can do this stuff on the road. Now I'm limited a little bit, you know, with podcast episodes and stuff, but I'm still able to do it because I chose to be an entrepreneur way back in the day, all right? And I'm talking like back, uh, let's see here, 2003, 2004, I think it was. And that's when I made that decision and I've never looked back. So guys, if you have your why and if you want this, you got to go out there and get it. And whether that's building an, your own brand online, whether it's doing a brick and mortar, like I don't care what it is, you need to figure out what that is. Obviously on this, on this uh, coffee talk and stuff, we talk about building an online remote business, uh, whether that's e-commerce, whether that's building a blog with traffic, uh, whatever, right? Um, that's why we do what we do. So this is a perfect example. Like I'm able to do this with you guys here today, right? Still check in, still delivering goodwill to the marketplace, but then we're able to, uh, you know, shut this thing off, do a little bit of extra. I might do a little bit of work and then I'll go hang out, right? Yesterday, my son-in-law and I played some disc golf. Um, we barbecued, right? Like, so there's things that we're able to do and enjoy ourselves and we're not committed to that job. Now, do I still have to work? Yes, but it's on my terms. And I think that's the big thing that I want to kind of point out here. What's up, Debbie? Good morning to you as well. Yes, M-E-K. Uh, cool. That's got a great ring to it, doesn't it? Uh, Derek, what's up, Derek? It's good to see the baby is healthy and doing well. How is your daughter? She is doing well, very, very well, uh, very well. She's very happy uh, is what she is. Um, all right, guys, so let's do this. I do have a little bit of what I want to share with you guys here, and I'm just going to let M.E.K. sit right here with me because she's content, so she might want to hear about this. So, M.E.K., we're going to talk about the only three things you need to start building your list and start email marketing, so pay attention. All right, here we go. So number one, you guys have been hearing me talk a lot about this lately. I did a whole coffee talk on this and that is you need to have your lead magnet. So before you ever decide to build your list, you need to understand your market and you need to understand what they want and what they need, right? If you are in the gut health space, it's going to be five foods to avoid for better gut health, right? Or it's going to be the five foods you must consume to have great gut health, right? So we need to figure out what that thing is and then we need to test it, right? But the very first thing, before we start building anything, before we start you know, connecting an autoresponder, any of that stuff, we need a lead magnet. So if you have not yet decided on what your lead magnet is going to be, that's what you need to work on. And you need to start understanding what is the market looking for or what do they need help with? They might not even know that they need it, but you're going to be the one that's going to deliver that thing to them. 
If it's bass fishing, five tips to catch more bass in a pond. That's something that someone would sign up on an email list for, right? And then you're going to deliver content. But the lead magnet can't be too broad. It needs to be something specific. It needs to be something that calls out either a problem or a solution or just something that they want, right? Um, so that's first. So number one thing, and again, my big thing is, guys, is simple, simplifying things. We don't want to overcomplicate this. So instead of thinking about like all of the different automation things you can do and the, the auto sequences and uh, broadcast messages and connecting this, you know, this uh, autoresponder to this, you don't need any of that right now. What you need is your lead magnet. So my question to you is how many of you right now, whether you're on here live or later, have your lead magnet picked out? Like, do you know what that is? And if not, that's your homework. All right. Make sure that you get that lead magnet identified. First part of that is though figuring out what the market wants and needs. And you might want to do a little investigative work and look at some of your competitors. Are they using lead magnets? If they are, maybe you can model it. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is then the landing page. Okay. So we have the lead magnet. Now we need a place to display it. Right. And that's what we call a landing page. It's basically one web page, one web page. That's all it is. It's just one web page. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to put the lead magnet on the landing page. That could be a little, a little image of a guide. It could be, um, it could be a, an image of you uh, doing the thing, whatever. It doesn't matter, but it needs to have what it is. And you want what we call a title or a subject line or a headline, right? Your heading. You want that to say what it is. Five foods to avoid for better gut health right? And then you have a little guide or a checklist and then you'd have enter name and email address right here in order to download it. Like that's it. That's your landing page, right? So one lead magnet two landing page. All right. Now on that landing page, we are going to be collecting an email address. The third thing that you need at this point is you need an email autoresponder. Okay. Email autoresponder is basically just an email collection service. We use ConvertKit. Um, if you want to go through my affiliate link and buy me a cup of coffee, you can go to brandcreators.com forward slash convert kit. And that will take you there. And I'll also, if you do go through my link, message me or send me an email, scott at brandcreators.com. And I'll send you some uh, email uh, swipe files that you can use and you can model. Um, so that's a little bonus that I'm giving for anyone that does go through my link. All right. So that's that. So and also inside of convert kit, you can build landing pages. So inside of ConvertKit, you can basically build your landing page and connect it all in one, and then you're all done. So really, those two pieces can be done inside of ConvertKit. All right. So that is number one, lead magnet. Number two is your landing page. And number three is your email autoresponder or your email capture. All right. So what you want to make sure is make sure that you don't overcomplicate this. So again, if you understand what the market wants, then you need to test that. And then we need to drive traffic and things. But right now, if you don't have any of this stuff done, don't worry about the traffic. We'll talk about that another time, right? Then it's just, okay, I got my page set up with my lead magnet. I have a way to capture emails. Now I talk about driving traffic. You see what we did there? We didn't think about the traffic piece yet. We don't need to worry about that yet, all right? Now I do have something that I wanna share with you, a little bonus here, okay? And this would be a fourth thing. And if you put this in there, you could potentially start making money day one, all right? And what that is, is a thank you page, all right? So here's how this looks, okay? So if you, and actually, if you wanna see this in action, here, let me put up a link here. Uh, let's see, if you go to, there it is. That should go to our checklist. So if you go to brandcreators.com forward slash checklist, that is what we call a landing page, okay? That is going to give you our brand growth validation checklist, all right? The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to a thank you page on that. Thank you page. It's going to say congratulations or thank you. You've um, we've just sent you your checklist in the email or in an email before you go. Here's our brand creators playbook, right? So it's a slight little offer. That's like, Hey, if you have the checklist, you're trying to figure out your market. If you want to really build the brand out following these six principles, then, then grab the playbook. The playbook's $4 and 99 cents at this time, right? So that's your thank you page. So 
Your thank you page could just say, hey, go to your inbox, get your download, or you can just give the download right there if you want to. I like to have them go to the email because then it also allows them to go and open the email, which then also increases our open rates, um, which is always good. That's for another conversation though. So the thank you page, and honestly, it's super simple. It's just another page that says, if they do this, send them here. And then on that thank you page, it could be a video of you saying like, hey, thanks so much for downloading our checklist. Um, now what I would have for you before you go, I just sent that to your inbox. If you want the full brand building process, go to brandcreatorsbook.com or just on this page, I'm going to put a special offer for you. And we do have a special offer there. So if you want to check that out, go to brandcreatorscom forward slash checklist, enter your name and email address, and you'll take to the thank you page and you'll see that special offer. All right. And what we've done is we've just taken people and brought them to the next logical step. That's it. And now immediately you can start turning that into a paid customer. And there's a lot we can talk about as far as like taking someone that's a free lead from someone that's a paid lead, even if it's only $4.99. They're actually worth more as far as people that would spend money in the future. But we still want to take care of the people that are free. You know, they want to download the free stuff too. So um, anyway, let's just recap here real quick, okay? And actually, I'm going to put that up there. Brandcreatorsbook.com. That'll just take you right to the book if you wanted to grab a copy of that. So, okay, number one, lead magnet. You need to make sure that you understand what your market wants and what they need. And it cannot be so broad, right? Our checklist is specifically to help you identify your market or take your existing market and see the opportunities and if it's even possible. So that's number one. Number two is the landing page. The landing page is going to deliver the asset or it's going to, or I'm sorry, it's going to collect the email to get the asset, to get the download, right? And then three is the email autoresponder, which is connected to the landing page that will actually allow you to take that and put it on a list that you can then communicate with down the line. And the thank you page is something that I would always suggest you put in there, not just the default one that they give you, like, thanks for subscribing. I don't like using the word subscribe. I want the word um, thank, uh, thanks for um, downloading the checklist. We just sent it to your inbox, whatever. Um, I don't like subscribe. Um, I don't like that, that verbiage, okay? So one, lead magnet, two, landing page, three, autoresponder. And if you don't have those three things in place right now, then you shouldn't be worrying about traffic. You shouldn't be worrying about uh, an automated sequence. You shouldn't be worrying about broadcast messages, opens, clicks, all that stuff. That's later, all right? So let me see. You guys got any quick questions for me? MEK, what do you think? It's pretty simple, right? Lead magnet, okay, landing page, and then email autoresponder. You got it? Okay, good. She's gonna set one of these up probably tomorrow is probably when she'll set this up, and we'll see how many leads she gets. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see here. Uh, who we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. How good is disc golf? Uh, not that great. Uh, actually, and my son-in-law uh, found last night they had a tick on his back because we were in the woods looking for one that we shot in the, in the woods. But we found it. But then he also found that he had a tick on his back later that night, which was not good. But it didn't really get into his skin, so we're good. Um, she's adorable, Agnet. Thank you. She is pretty, pretty adorable. I would say so. Uh, D, oh, okay. So no, you don't have a lead magnet. Okay, so that's what we got to work on first. Mike Smiley's in the house. What's up, Mike? You smiling today? Look at this. This is something to smile about. I like your new assistant. She seems <laughs> enthralled with the job. She, I'm, I mean, she can sleep on the job. It's okay. She's, she's just doing just great. Um, I have one that is bringing people in. Yes, Karen, and I know yours. And I think we're also able to play with yours a little bit, which we're going to do more inside of Brand Creators Academy. Actually, Karen's one of our Academy members, and uh, we're working closer with her um, on some of her things. So I'm really excited, Karen, actually, for where we're going to do or what we're going to do after um, the email marketing uh, course that we're doing, because then it's going to be the product, digital product creation, which I think you're going to do really well at. Uh, would you recommend to um, expedite? Um, I'm not really sure what that question means. What, what do you, oh, okay, wait a minute. Would you recommend for ease and speed to set up a landing page for Lead Magnet with ConvertKit before setting up a website? Yes, I would. As much as I don't want you to host your landing page on someone else's server other than your own website, to make it as super simple as possible, yes, I would say do that. Um, I would say as soon as you can, 
Um, I would just have that, they have a plugin in ConvertKit that you will then connect to your website and then it will be a um, like a subdomain. So they make it super easy. I would say go that route if you can. If if you're like, you know what, this is taking me too much time to figure this out, then I wouldn't even worry about it. And I would just, I would do that. I would just let ConvertKit host it then. Uh, what's up, James? Good morning, man. Uh, Kate, L. <laughs> uh, MEK is going to be a marketing rock star. Yes, she is. Because the crazy thing is, is my daughter, Alexis, who also taught the Pinterest traffic workshop inside of our academy, um, she's pretty good herself, got to say. She's pretty, pretty good. Um, and then my son-in-law, he's uh, he's working behind the scenes as well. So we got a well-rounded little team here. Yeah, I'm excited. And she's in training right now. She's in training. Uh, Salama, was it scary leaving your job? Did you have savings to sustain you? That's a great question, Salama. And I'm going to answer that. So here's what it looked like. What it looked like was this. Uh, we had been doing our photography on the side for about 18 months before I made the leap. And our goal was like, if we can, if we can, uh, make $10,000 in our fourth quarter, meaning from, August, September, October, November, and December. So like five months, four or five months. If we can make that much money, that would allow us to have a runway of about three months at the time. At the time, I could have lived on like four grand a month, maybe 3,500 a month. I could have lived on. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been like I was going out to dinner and I was doing, like I could have lived on. I would have paid the bills, right? So that was our runway. That was our safety net. And from what we had done in the past, we knew that we were probably going to be able to hit that goal. We did hit that goal. So our after fourth quarter was over, we had $10,000 in the bank. Okay. Now that after that ran out, we were struggling. We were struggling because now we had to, in the off season, figure out a way to bring in customers. We ended up figuring it out, but there was months that we actually put uh, our bills on a credit card in order to carry us until we got busy again. Um, after about two years, we figured it out and then we were really steady. And then at that point in time, I don't know if it was that early on or not, but we were close to a six figure company at that time, way back in the day. Um, and it all came down to marketing. It really did. And getting really good at marketing. And the crazy thing is, is I didn't even know about email marketing back then, although I was doing it and I didn't even understand it. Um, I was literally collecting our customers that were coming through. I was having them write out their information and then I was entering them into Outlook Outlook Express, is that what it is? Outlook Mail. Um, and then what I did is I had a list of like 450 people that had come to our studio over the years. And then what I would do is I would just send out a message and say, hey, we're getting ready to book for the holidays. Um, we're going to have limited sessions this year. Make sure that you book your session now. And then we would book up right from that. So I didn't even know what I was doing. And I was blind copying instead of like doing an autoresponder, I was blind copying everyone else. So only the one person that that was sent the email would see it and not the other 449 people, right? But yes, it was scary. It was 100% scary, but I also had a safety net and that safety net wasn't even money. It was a skill. I had the skill of being a contractor. I could have went out there and I could have started doing people's kitchens over. I could have built decks. I could have did all of that stuff. I didn't want to, but I always had that to fall back on. And I think all of us have those things that we can fall back on. We can always go back to something that we've done before even though we might not want to. Now, here's the crazy thing. I never had to swing a hammer again for money, ever. And it's been over 17, 18 years now. I've, I have not had to swing a hammer for money. Always had that option though. I still have that option. I, I was actually just talking to my wife the other day about it. If I was starting over and I wanted to get into like the local, like I wanted to start a little business and I didn't know about online like marketing and all of that stuff, I would start a little gutter business. Like I would buy a trailer, I would buy a gutter, a seamless gutter machine, and I would just have my pickup truck and I would tow it around and I would get jobs because I used to install gutters for people, you know, seamless gutters. And we used to get paid good money, but we used to have a company come out and pump them out for us. I would have been that company because I could probably get started if I had a truck already, probably get started for 10 or 15 grand and I would be busy. Now, the thing is, is I would have had to do the work and or I would have had to have, you know, contractors. I've done that before. I don't want to do it, but I have the skill set. I could go hang gutters tomorrow if I wanted to. Um, so I think we always have to know that 
it's going to be scary. We have to take a leap in order to actually grow. And sometimes if you take the leap, it's going to force you. It's going to put your feet to the fire. You're like, I got to make this thing work. If I don't, the bills aren't going to get paid, right? Um, and then the other thing is, is when you're making that transition, it's very good to kind of tighten the belt a little bit. What are the bare minimum uh, you know, payments that I need to have here in order for me to make as little as possible so that way there, there's not a lot of pressure? Um, and that's what we've done. I mean, we went months without going out to dinner. We've, uh, you know, we down, you know, downsized our cars or, you know, made our cars where they weren't what we had had before trying to reduce the payments. Um, maybe it's calling the cable company and trying to get our bill reduced, like whatever it is, we had to cut back, you know, and that's part of the freedom aspect. Cause it's like, I don't really need that over there. I'd, I'd rather be able to work from home and not have, you know, 45, you know, bonus channels on my thing that I'm paying 40 bucks a month for, right? I'll just cut back for a while. Um, and that's, that's really what we're, that, that's really what we did. So was it scary? Yeah, it was. But I've done it multiple times, by the way, because after we got out of the photography business, I started the online business and I started teaching people digital photography. And once that got kind of like a little bit of traction, we left our photography studio behind. Um, and we went all in on that, but I always had the photography thing to go back on, right? We always have that to fall back on. My Photoshop skills, I could go do editing for people now and get paid for it, right? I even got some video editing skills that I could do for. So there's all of these assets that I'm telling you guys that we're doing, like you building an email list and learning marketing is a skill set. It's an asset that you'll always have. No one can ever take that from you. And let me tell you, once you have that skill set, you're good. You got it, right? And you'll adapt it to any business. What do you think there, Emmy? She's just moving a little bit. She's like, yeah, I like that. You're right, Pop Pop. You are right. Tell them. Tell them all about it. Tell them all about it. Look at how sweet that is. Look at her. Not a care in the world. When's my next feeding? Uh, Gio, uh, she is set for life as she starts her email marketing now, right? This is true. Uh, let's see, Derek, I got I get my land, landing page on site. Good, get it done. Uh, Octavio, yes, got all three. Yeah, I know you do, brother. I can't wait to start launching your stuff. Uh, John, I'll be moving this all three at the top of my list, making this happen today. Awesome, John. Glad to hear it. Keep me posted. Come back here on the Coffee Talks and keep me posted. Okay, good to hear your early story. Interesting and helpful. Awesome. Well, I'm glad. Take the leap and let and the net will appear. This is true. This is true. All right, guys. So uh, again, let me just recap here real quick. Uh, the only three things you need to start email marketing is one, a lead magnet, two, landing page, and three, an email autoresponder, such as ConvertKit. If you want to grab ConvertKit, I am an affiliate for them because I, I endorse only people that I use or that I believe in, and ConvertKit is one of them. So brandcreators.com forward slash ConvertKit. If you go through my link, it, you can get a free trial. I think you can get a free account. And then um, if you send me an email with the receipt or that you've opted in for their free uh, or even just to sign up. Just send me an email, scott at brandcreators.com, and I'll send you a little bonus that will give you some email swipe copy um, and some goodies over there. So go uh, go do that if you're interested, if you haven't yet got ConvertKit. And then the bonus thing was is the thank you page. Thank you page, really, really important. Really, really important. And we'll talk more about that stuff. If you guys are on here and you're in the academy, we got a lot of cool stuff coming. This coming week, um, actually Monday, is going to be our first week in our email marketing uh, training. It's a full training, um, which is going to go through basically building your lead magnet from scratch, building your landing page, setting everything up. And then from there, we're going to uh, move into uh, doing the traffic piece. And then from there, we're going to move into messaging and building sequences and doing broadcast messages, how to write when you don't know what to write. Um, really all of that stuff. It's going to be about a four week long training. So if you're in the academy, that's coming. If you're not in the academy, um, we'll let you know when we open again, which won't be for a little while. But in the meantime, there's a whole section inside of the Brand Creators Playbook, whole section on email marketing. It's called Email List Building 101. Definitely go to that chapter. Um, it's a full, it'll show you exactly how to start building the list from scratch too. Brandcreatorsbook.com will get you there. All right. So I think that's it. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, Salma, yeah, no problem. She is a blessing. Thanks for sharing your story. No problem. And uh, I think Emmy K did very well on her first coffee talk. What do you guys think? You think Emmy K did a good job? Let me know if you think that Emmy K did a good job. Look at how beautiful she is. 
You did a great job, honey. You are going to be a star. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Well, this is going to wrap it up. Now, Friday, let me just mention Friday real quick. Friday, we are going to do a coffee talk. Um, and uh, that is going to be same place, same time. And what we're going to talk about on this uh, coffee talk coming up, we're going to call it our jam session as well, which you guys know that are that are uh, part of the crew. Um, we are going to talk about what do I write and send to my email list? And that's going to be a jam session because I'm going to answer that question and I'm going to give you five things to consider when you are in this spot. Um, and then I'm going to answer any other questions that you guys have, whether that's on email list building, email marketing or anything. All right. So the jam session will be our live Q and a, our really our Q and a session. And I'll air that on the podcast at a later date. But the, the main theme is going to be, what do I write and send to my email list? All right. And uh, I've got five things I'm going to share with you. All right. So guys, do me a favor. If you find this helpful, if you find this useful, all I ask of you is just to share this, share this with a friend, send them an email. Send them uh, a, maybe a message on uh, a message on uh, Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or wherever you're hanging out. Let them know that they should be hanging out at these coffee talks. All right. And the way that you can drive people over here and say, hey, go here, check them out. Go to takeactioncrew.com. Again, that's takeactioncrew.com. I wonder if I have a link for that already pre-done here. Do I? Oh, I do. Look at that. Takeactioncrew.com. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hang out a little bit more together, but uh, we'll see you guys on Friday. So make sure that you come back here, and also let me know if you have any questions on email marketing at all. Just drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, D says yes, this is priceless. Awesome, thank you, D. And I'll D, I'll see you in the academy. I know that you're in the academy. So all right, guys, take care, take action, and have an awesome, amazing day. I know we are, right, Emmy? We're gonna have a good day, right? She says yes. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Take action. Bye, guys.